dear friends good evening let's take up uh, some other topic today and that is written on the board how to enrich uh, your vocabulary how to build up your vocabulary okay and now you see here which is written in a uh, ready basic grammar a sound knowledge of basic grammar tenses articles and active and passive voice these three are very important plus suppose your vocabulary will improve your communication skills effectively that is it how do you enrich your vocabulary i can give you a few suggestions but then ultimately it depends upon your reading the amount of reading okay whenever you find time you have got to read as much as possible because when it comes to your vocabulary it is not a question of memorizing the words you may not remember you may not remember but if when you come across a particular word in a particular context that gets imprinted in your mind you will never forget that is why i insist on uh, reading so understand okay now there are two types of uh, three types of uh, dictionaries one is a regular dictionary that we all have in our houses if you don't have that you should have one you should have one the sarasa dictionary this dictionary deals with just the synonyms and antonyms what is the meaning of our synonyms words having um, the same meaning the same meaning antonyms words having uh, the opposite the opposite okay antonyms means opposite synonyms means the similar meaning okay and the next one is a dictionary of uh, phrasal verbs what is a phrasal verb and i have written a few on the board when i come to this i will explain this in detail okay now so you can do this is i have given you one example okay, everything cannot be discussed in the class thousands of words in the dictionary just take one joy look at the other words having the similar meaning delight pleasure gladness happiness rapture glee euphoria bliss ecstasy jubilation exaltation still there are a few words carrying the same meaning this is possible only if you are given to reading please if you have not developed the habit of reading please start at the earliest look at the antonyms the opposites of um, this word joy sadness and happiness depression gloom misery melancholy sorrow and grief so how many words so when you know more and more such expressions it improves your fluency of the language so this is what in fact at the sarasa dictionary deals with you should also have that you should also even if you don't have one it doesn't matter but buy a lot of books to read okay why i insist on reading is even if you do not know the meaning of for your specific word in a given context you should be able to understand the meaning read two lines before the word and two lines after the word to a very large extent you should be able to <coughs> infer the meaning okay now let me see apart from this yeah when ever just imagine you do not know the meaning of a particular word you look it up in the dictionary 
you refer to that word in the dictionary to get to know the meaning. Okay, joy, delight. Okay, I have understood the meaning. Don't close the dictionary. But what is more important is what are the other forms of the same word? See here, joyous, joyful. Similarly, take for example now um, respect. You know the meaning, respect. Having a high regard for somebody. What is the opposite? Disrespect. And what are the other forms um, of the same um, word? If you add prefixes and suffixes, that will also improve your vocabulary. Disrespectful. You should not be disrespectful of your elders. Look at the other forms. Respectful and respectable. So what I am discussing with you are the different forms of the same word. Respect. Opposite is a disrespect. Disrespectful. Respectful. Respectable. Respects. Plural. I went there to extend my respects. Irrespective of. Irrespective of. So, what I want to tell you is, you should uh, go into the other forms of the same word, which will of course uh, increase your vocabulary. Look at the next one. Safe. Safely. Safety. And safeguard. How am I going to use these words in my language? Now, I have given you some examples. So now you know how to go about. And let us move to the next one. Phrasal verbs. Dictionary of phrasal verbs. You do have one. Okay. And what is so special about this uh, dictionary? See, the main verb remains the same. Look, but the preposition keeps changing. As a result, the meaning also changes. For each and every phrasal verb has more than uh, 78 meanings. See, for example, look at. Not used uh, to have only one meaning. You may have a few other meanings also. Okay. But we are. Uh, Taking up the primary meaning, the primary meaning. So understand that the main verb remains the same, but the preposition keeps changing, resulting in the change of meaning. Look at, look at the clock, look at the damaged door, look to the students, look to the teacher for help, depend. Look into. I lodged a complaint against a mischievous student to the teacher. The teacher said, Don't worry, I will look into it. I will examine it. Look at the next one. Look for. Since this morning, I have been looking for my last EOST. Last car key. I don't know where I have placed. I have been looking for it. It is not to be found. Searching for. Searching for. Look over. My house is looking over to the sea. The sea view. My house is looking over the sea. Look on. To passively watch. Without doing anything. There was a fight going on. Between uh, two people. In the street. I was scared to go near them. So I was just passively looking on. Peeping through the window. I was just looking on. Onlookers. Watchers. Look after you know the meaning. Okay. 
the government should do something to look after the, the poor people the government should do something to look after the people the victims of uh, the flood look up if i do not know the meaning of a particular word i look it up in the dictionary to get to know the meaning i look it up in the dictionary look down upon having contempt the rich tend to look down upon the poor people the rich tend to look down upon the poor people so i have given you see even if you do not know difficult expressions if you can master these phrasal verbs say at least say some 150 it should be more than enough for you to for your language to be very fluent tomorrow perhaps when i meet you or uh, in my video i will come up with the most important words for which uh, you can look into the dictionary and uh, note down the phrasal verbs okay quickly let us move to the next one turn on turn on the stove turn off the stove or the tap look at the next one turn to my friend uh, needed some help urgently since i am his close friend uh, he turned to me he turned to me hoping that i would help him out and uh, i did i did look into sorry turn into water turns into ice at a particular temperature water turns into ice okay look at the next one turn up for the class yesterday there were um, only a there were only a there were only 50 students who had turned up there were only 50 students who had turned up although the teacher had said that it was an important class out of uh, 90 students only 50 students had turned up turn down the other day i went to the teacher with a request but the teacher turned down my request refused sorry i cannot turn down my request look at the next one turn over and the new business which i have started recently has a turn over of um, so far nearly 15 lakhs in about 6 months time it has a turnover of um, 15 lakhs i am happy about it i am happy about it look at the next one turn away someone weird looking fellow in a rags approached me for some help i don't know what happened to me at that time i just turned him away please go away turn him away and look at the next one turn out i trusted my friend to a very great extent but ultimately he turned out to be a big cheat he turned out to be a big cheat don't ever say cheater there is no such expression in english it is only that a person who cheats is a cheat okay okay in the class tomorrow in the video tomorrow we will see a few more phrasal verbs my idea would be to make you understand the importance of um, keeping a uh, uh, phrasal verbs at least 150 is very difficult to keep there is a big bulky dictionary very difficult to keep everything in mind okay so a few more okay thank you so much and uh, bye till i see you next if you like it 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब